In this video, I'm going to explain what the Platypus Finance DeFi protocol is and how exactly it operates, what the liquidity mining of uh, Platypus Finance uh, deliver and a step-by-step -step guide and tutorial explaining how to stake your stable coins and how to benefit from the liquidity mining of this uh, protocol. So let's get started. Now, first of all, Platypus Finance is a brand new uh, DeFi automated market maker. Uh, as you know, there are a lot of automated market makers uh, like Uniswap, uh, SushiSwap, Paraswap, etc. But uh, there are no uh, stable coin automated market makers until this moment on the Avalanche network. And this is where Platypus Finance resides and where it operates. So it is a decentralized automated market maker who is entirely focused on stable coin swaps on the Avalanche network. And uh, it is a little bit different than most traditional automated market makers delivering better um, liquidity and more efficient trading. First of all, uh, it has very low slippage and delivers very good liquidity. D this way you can swap a large chunks of stable coins uh, and get your results without uh, too much slippage at all. So uh, first let's explain you exactly uh, what is the liquidity mining incentives in participating into this um, AMM. Uh, I will show you the documents of uh, Platypus Finance, uh, where it is very well explained how the uh, native PTP token will be distributed uh, over to all the participants in the liquidity mining. In this chart, you can see that about 30% of the uh, PTP token distribution will go to the base pool, uh, which is the base yield uh, of uh, farming your stable coins on the platform. Uh, then there are 20% for AVAX PTP providers on the Trader Joe uh, exchange. And the vast majority of the uh, generated uh, PTP tokens will be given to, to the uh, people who uh, stake their PTP inside Platypus. Uh, actually, 50% of all the uh, emission of PTP tokens will be delivered as a reward, as a boosting APY to everyone who is staking their PTP on the platform. And now is the time to uh, explain a little bit about the difference between uh, PTP token and uh, staked voting escrow VE PTP token. Uh, but before that, let me show you the basic calculation how the uh, base pool reward is calculated. So if you deposit, let's say 1000 USDC into the uh, pool of Platypus Finance, uh, then you will be eligible to receive emission from uh, PTP token from this 30% of the total uh, PTP emission. Uh, based on the uh, size of your deposit divided by the total aggregated deposits of all other participants depositing USDC in this pool. And there are three different pools, USDC, uh, USDT, and DAI pool. Of course, all of them are uh, wrapped 
uh, versions of these three stable coins on the Avalanche network. And of course, with Avalanche, you have the benefits of very low transactions costs, uh, much lower than uh, compared to the Ethereum network. And uh, now the interesting part is the 50 percentage emission, which is delivered to the boosting pool. And uh, in order to be eligible for uh, boosting APR reward for your uh, staked uh, USDC, USDT, or DAI, uh, you have to stake also your uh, PTP token on the platform where uh, you will receive emission of uh, voting escrow or VE PTP, which is non-tradable, non-transferable token, which resides in your account on the Platypus Finance, and which is uh, necessary for order to calculate your reward. So uh, one staked PTP generates 0 0.014 uh, vote escrow PTP per hour. And I already calculated that uh, you will receive the maximum possible amount of VE PTP if you stake your uh, PTP for about 10 months. Uh, for about 10 months, you will get 100 times more VE PTP compared to your uh, staked PTP. And then uh, your deposit of stable coin multiplied by your VE PTP available in your account, square root of this is your weight function uh, included in the calculation of your staked reward. The math is simple, but I don't have enough time to explain in, your, in more details. Uh, down below in the descriptions, I will post the link to this uh, document explaining in more details exactly how the total return and APR is calculated com uh, combining the base APR and the boosting APR. So uh, after I said these few words about the Platypus token and the voting escrow Platypus token, uh, I would like to show you exactly how this platform works. And then I will give you some hints how you can improve the final yield of the platform. And you see here that this is a stable coin uh, farm and uh, very rarely you can uh, achieve such a high APR with stable coins. Let me show you exactly how you can do this uh, with Platypus Finance. So in order to uh, access the platform, first, uh, you enter the platypus.finance website right here and then click on the launch app. Before that, you have to ensure that uh, your MetaMask wallet right here, I, I hope you are familiar with MetaMask, but if you are not, there are tons of tutorials, uh, including on my channel, how to uh, set up uh, a MetaMask wallet. Then you have to ensure that your MetaMask is uh, connecting the Avalanche mainnet C chain. Uh, you see here, I have Ethereum mainnet, Phantom, Opera, Moonbeam, etc., etc. But you have to ensure that you have Avalanche mainnet and it is connected. Then launching the app is simply clicking on this. Uh, icon on the top uh, right uh, corner of the Platinum Finance website. And then you enter into the very slick interface of the Platypus Finance protocol. And you have three different options, swapping, pool, and VPTP. In swapping, you can select swap function between these three versions of USDT, USDC, and DAI stable coins. But uh, the thing that 
uh, we are most interested right now is the uh, pools where you can uh, put your uh, stable coins at work. So uh, basically, uh, you have three different pools. You can see right now that 156 million USDT are deposited into the USDT pool, then uh, 166 the same amount USDC and a little bit a lower amount 128 million DAI are deposited. The most important part of this uh, uh, protocol is that it works with the with assets that are very similar to each other and which are uh, supposed to be pegged to the US dollar. So uh, there are no expected big fluctuations between them. So this is a single-sided um, pool and a single-sided uh, automated market maker when, where you can uh, insert your uh, deposit only in one of these three coins. You don't need to split them uh, before entering. So uh, in order to deposit, you can see that I already have deposited $60 into the DAI pool. In order to deposit, you have to select the option deposit, uh, select the amount you want to deposit. Right now, I don't have DAI into my uh, MetaMask wallet. Uh, so I will not uh, deposit right now, but you see here and uh, you have to confirm in MetaMask the transaction. It is cheap, around 60 uh, US cents, not $60, 60 cents. And uh, you can do this very, very quickly. But first, you have to um, approve the transaction and then to make it go to the um, Avalanche network. Uh, then you have, uh, if you click right here on the option stake, you have three options, uh, stake, unstake, and claim. Uh, in order to receive the uh, base APR, you need to stake your deposit die. So the first step is to deposit the stable coin. The second step is to stake it. And then, of course, you can unstake at any time and also you can claim your uh, earned reward i will not claim it right now because i have only uh, 0.31 ptp earned till now and uh, i want to uh, get more reward because before uh, claiming it but it is compounding right here uh, so <clears throat> These are the three stable coins which you can deposit, and these are the current base APR, seven percentage uh, base APR. The most interesting part of Platypus Finance is that uh, it utilizes the staking of the PTP token in order to boost your stable coin yield, and you can achieve uh, in general the median boosted APR right now is 37% for uh, USDT, 25% for USDC, and 28% for DAI. This is a percentage which change with the price of uh, PTP token and with the utilization of this pool. So it's a little bit more complex. But now let's get into PTP staking. But first, how we can get the PTP token. So I deposited in my um, Avalanche C-Chain uh, MetaMask wallet some uh, Avalanche token from uh, Binance, for example. And then we are going to Trader Joe XYZ, which is the main um, platform uh, decentralized exchange for all tokens residing on the Avalanche network. So we will trade the AVAX I have in my wallet for PTP. So here we have the option to select the token. We choose PTP. 
and then uh, I decide to put uh, 0 0.56 AVAX into PT into uh, 13 point something uh, PTP. Then I click swap, confirm swap. Then uh, the MetaMask notification window will open and I will have to click once again, confirm, and hopefully we will be ready with our purchase of PTP token. Confirm. Transaction submitted. Of course, you can check the transactions on Snowtrace, which is very similar to Etherscan on the Ethereum network. If you are familiar with this, of course, the transaction is still not uh, available here, but uh, you can see right now swap is confirmed. Here it is. Uh, we can see that the transaction is done. Uh, the value is $38 and the transaction fee only 0 0.24. Uh, US dollars or 24 cents. So after we get the PTP token into our uh, Avalanche C chain wallet, we go right here into this tab, VPTP, and stake our uh, newly purchased uh, PTP token. Uh, there is also an option to unstake, but I highly advise you to not do so because if you click the unstake uh, button, you will receive this warning notification that you will lose all your accumulated uh, V or voting escrow PTP if you uh, unstake your PTP. So you will lose all the uh, power to boost your reward and you will start from the ground up if you unstake and stake again and it uh, doesn't mean how much you unstake if you unstake only um, a fraction of ptp it is the same so i highly advise you to not unstake because this is the power of ptp uh, to be staked on the platform in order to collect the voting escrow ptp and now we are going to stake the maximum amount we have right here. You can see that I'm staking all the amount I just purchased on Trader Joe. Again, this is transaction confirmation on MetaMask. All the transactions are extremely cheap compared to Ethereum network. We wait for a few seconds. It is actually really very fast. And then we can click done. Of course, you can see on uh, snow trace that your transactions go through and the uh, cost per this transaction is 37 cents only. So now I already have uh, my total balance of uh, 50, 3.15 staked PTP. And also uh, I have uh, already claimed 159 voting cash called PTP. And every single hour uh, I uh, compound more claimable reward in order to boost your uh, API for your stablecoin deposit, you need to claim right here. Uh, I'm not going to do this because it is still a low amount. I already claimed with this transaction the uh, uh, VEPTP I had. Uh, you can check here the boosting calculator as well and see how exactly how much your uh, yield will be. Uh, for example, uh, we have DAI 
token right here. This is the amount I have deposited. This is the total pool size of staked DAI. And uh, this is the amount of uh, my VEPTP. So at the moment, I have a 7.5 percentage base APR and then uh, estimated at this current moment close to 100 percentage boosted APR. You see where is the power of this protocol. You receive a lot of boosting for your stablecoin uh, pair. Uh, right now, I will give you some hints how exactly uh, you can allocate uh, your capital in order to achieve the best boosting rate. And you can use this boosting calculator in order to uh, play different scenarios to, uh, to make more advanced simulation in order to take a final decision. So let's say you have 100 DAI or USDC or USDT. Uh, you want to stake on the platform. And with the current VEPTP I have, I will achieve 76 percentage of boosted APR. If I decide to deposit more uh, DAI, let's say 1,000 US dollars, we see that we uh, have decreased uh, total boosted APR. Why is that uh, happening? Uh, Platypus Finance have a very good medium article where they explain different scenarios and different situations regarding uh, how much you can uh, boost your APR of uh, your stablecoin deposit. And I will link below this article. Here is a picture showing three different scenarios. First, you have 2000 USDC. Let, let me uh, give you this example. You have 2000 USDC and the total aggregated deposits of all USDC on Platypus is 50 million USDC. So your deposit share is uh, 0.004 percentage. Uh, in this case, plan A, you uh, deposit all your stable coin into the stable coin farm and you don't have uh, PTP staked. So your base pool reward will be nine PTP and your accumulated VPTP will be zero, of course, because you don't stake PTP and you don't have boosted uh, pool reward. In this case, nine PTP uh, times 12 months to, uh, times the price of PTP, let's say $2 uh, divided by your total deposit of 2000 US dollars, you get uh, close to 11 percentage total APR. Now let's uh, check the example where you uh, deposit 1,900 USDC and the remaining $100 you put into uh, staking of PTP. In this case, you will receive uh, less PTP as a base pool reward, only 8.5, but you will accumulate a lot of VPTP and then you will uh, achieve a boosting PTP reward of 5.2. In this case, your total APR will be 16.6 percentage. So it is much higher than if you stake all your stable coins. Uh, in all cases, without uh, all the complexity of calculating your uh, boosting APR, which is probably not possible to calculate entirely um, in the future, but in all cases, staking some PTP on the platform allows you to boost significantly your base APR. So uh, in this scenario, the much better uh, uh, 
plan is if you switch your investment in two equal parts and you put 1000 USDC on the um, stable coin uh, deposit and the other 1000 USDC you put as uh, staked PTP like what I am doing and what I showed you uh, just uh, in a moment before. In this case, you will receive only 4.5 PTP as a base reward, but you will receive 12 PTP as a boosting reward for total close to 20% uh, total APR uh, combined base plus boosted APR. Uh, let me show you once again my personal stats at the moment. So you can see right here, just a second to uh, update the numbers. Oops. You can see right here that at the moment, uh, my boosted APR is exactly 98%, but it is so high because I have a lot of uh, VE, PTP, and very small uh, deposit of USDC. If I increase my USDC deposit, I will decrease my boosting APY, but in all cases, as you already saw uh, from the table right here, um, it is a good practice which will always give you better total APY if you have some staked uh, PTP. And of course, in this uh, medium article, you can see other scenarios with different uh, final weights of my VPTP because <clears throat> uh, if we want to know exactly how much we will boost our API, we, we need to know how many uh, other participants are staking their um, PTP for how long they are staking, also how uh, big is the um, actual stable coin pools. For example, if the die pool increase, then uh, our uh, share into this pool will decrease. So you have to uh, always check these numbers and know exactly how to allocate your capital. And my strategy for the future right now, because I'm willing to uh, participate in uh, Platypus Finance for the long run, is to deposit more and more stable coins into these free pools uh, into the future and use my VEPTP to boost my total APR. So uh, I will utilize my uh, staking of PTP as the main driver of future growth. So I'm not uh, calculating initially how much to deposit in each pool because I will deposit regularly over the next several months, let's say. So at the moment, I'm focusing on building my PTP staking boosting accelerator and then I will deposit regularly and grow my stable coins uh, chunks inside this pools for hopefully very nice uh, stable coin uh, boosting rewards. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you into the next one. Bye bye.